that that would be absolutely foolish for me going to try to turn the game around with a Dark Templar drop, probably in the main. It might also be a High Templar drop. I don't actually know what's in the shadow. I suspect it is a Dark Templar drop. Uh, there is a single Dark Templar that he's brought out. And now, Chuck morphing the colonies he needs at the main, but this is too late. That High Templar going to achieve a few kills there. Three kills, it looks like. But I don't think this loss is too heavy, but incredible storming action. They're almost catching all of those drones. That was a brilliant play by Free. Unfortunately, not paying off. That doesn't mean that wasn't a good move there. And now Free, perhaps with another storm here at the natural. Chuck does not seem to have the multitasking to pay attention. But unfortunately for Free, everything just not quite working out for him. He has managed to snipe the Spire. That is good work by by free that drop uh, paying off very well even though he didn't quite achieve all his goals there like the storm at the natural only killed one drone um, he didn't aim it too well i still think the concept was great and even his execution wasn't that bad although free needs to avoid bleeding corsairs like that shock though does not seem to care he's just more additional drones uh, for every drone he lost he does not seem to mind just morphing another one, or perhaps two to replace every drone that he lost. He's got plenty of economy at this point. He's sitting pretty on four bases. Sure, he lost his Spire, but he is already rebuilding that. I don't think he's going to kill too much. Free pushing out with some of his army, and he catching that shuttle. Ooh, that's got to hurt. That shuttle probably still had the High Templar in it, and going to catch the shuttle, force these Zealots to drop. The Zealots not able to do much against the Hydralis, and this shuts down Free's attempt to harass, and I think Hyuk has this game well in hand at this point. Really, Free's initial attack with the Archon Zealots, that was... I mean, he could not possibly have won that attack. I don't know why he went ahead with it. Even though Hyuk bring, brought up his reinforcements way too late, in my opinion. I mean, you can see how difficult it was to break the Zerg defenses in that case. And Archon, terrible against Sunkins. So, uh, and at, at this point, I don't see how Free could win because Hyuk has been mining from four bases uh, for so long. He has suffered a bit of economic damage from Free's attempts to harass his main and Atro. He's got three evolution chambers upgrading everything. He's going to go saw around Zerg soon enough and just produce every sort of unit. Zerglings, Hydralis, Larkers, and overrun uh, Free before long. Hyuk uh, is moving a few units now. Free perhaps wants to push out with his main army. He's using his Corsairs to scout around and see what's going on. Plus, one carapace is finished for Hyuk, but he'll have all his other upgrades soon enough. So, Hyuk going to try to shut down this expansion at the 3 o'clock, and Free has nothing in position to try to stop this. This cannon is morphing just a few seconds too late, and you know everything going wrong for Free here. I have to say, luck playing uh, somewhat of a significant role here. It wasn't as if Free played particularly poorly or anything like that, but like his Dark Templar plus Storm Drop combo on the transferring drones, that was a really good maneuver. It just didn't quite work out. The Hyuk, for whatever reason, this time was paying good attention and managing to avoid that. Not really Free's fault, um, in my opinion. But Free just having atrocious luck this game, not able to set up his third, and with that uh, failure, he's just going to try to uh, fight valiantly. One big battle here with his Protoss army, get off a nice few storms, kill maybe a couple dozen Zerg units, and go out in a blaze of glory. The blaze of glory is starting now. Protoss assault at the front, Dragoons, Templar, Storm, all over the place. Storm doing quite a bit of damage there. I think the Korean Combinators even says Sauron Zerg, and the Storm's coming out all over the place. Brilliant Storms by, by Free, I have to say. Absolutely brilliant Storms. Certainly, he has gone out in his blaze of glory. In fact, wiping out almost all of Hyuk's army, but Hyuk has so many units. And even if he loses all of these units and he loses his battle, he's not going to care. He's going to be able to rebuild, whereas Free has already taken huge damage. Look at that. Hyuk already with more reinforcements streaming out. He's got five more lurkers coming from the bottom. He's got tons of Zerglings uh, running rampant from his main base. And this time, Free has run out of all his storm. He's not going to be able to slop, stop this onslaught. But what a blaze of glory this was. Well done by Free in terms of providing an entertaining fight. We should see GG very soon. But Hyuk... Economic advantage just overwhelming, overrunning Free here. Free is mine out in his main. 
He's going to be mine out at the natural soon enough. And he's trying his best to set up expansion at the 12. Won't matter. Chuck, as you can see, is just streaming all his units, it appears, with abandon. Wild abandon without restraint here at free. He could care less if those units are killed. He's got more reinforcements that he can always bring up as necessary. As the a powerful uh, Zerg here, when you, you employ all the units of the Zerg army. Well, that's not true. He hasn't employed the Ultra List, for instance, uh, of the Zerg ground army. Uh, the Fathers are less critical in this sort of build. I guess that's another one of the units. But certainly the, the basic Zerg units, just overwhelming weight of numbers here. Chuck moving forces free, still fighting, still providing an entertaining game. Great Storms, he is uh, fighting a desperate last stand battle here. And Hyuk, uh, perhaps he does want to consolidate a bit and mass up his units before launching the final assault here. He has managed to catch Free's base at the 12 o'clock and going to be able to kill that. GG coming from Free. Okay, but what a blaze of glory it was for Free. Great battle. Unfortunately, Hyuk's economy too dominant. Hyuk and Baby advancing out of this group going on to the OSL round 16. Thank you for watching Group F.